one of them will have the problems addressed. Thank you, Madam Speaker. First, I want to thank my colleague, who I have great respect for him. But I guess my concern is, Madam Speaker, is the lack of urgency from the Conservative bench. These are seniors, Madam Speaker, that had their GIS, the lowest income seniors in our country, clawed back. They can't afford their rent or their food or their medicine. Some of them are cutting their pills in half, Madam Speaker. This is unacceptable. What we're talking about today is an urgent situation so that those people that have been cut off get help now. And Madam Speaker, through you, I'd like to ask my colleague, does he support our call for a guaranteed livable income so that no seniors in this country are living in poverty and have to go through a situation like this ever again? Calgary Shepherd. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'd like to thank the member. He's one of the few members of the New Democrats who I, I quite appreciate, uh, as you, Madam Chair, as well, uh, are very reasonable members of the House. I want to address the first part of his question, though, uh, which talks about the urgency of the matter. The government is claiming there's urgency. The Senate's not even going to sit to consider this matter and expeditiously pass it. The government created the need for urgency. This is the government's problem. They created this entire situation, calling an election that was unnecessary after promising they wouldn't do so, recalling Parliament late, and then putting this legislation before the House so late in the hour. They created I don't understand why the Democrats feel they need to keep correcting the Liberals' mistakes. Jensen, comments?